everyone, it's Caitlin. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a Dia Co unboxing and try on. I haven't done one in a while. I kind of put Dia Co on pause just because not everything was like right. I don't know. So I decided to try it again and we're going to do that. So I'm going to put away my laundry. Need to do that. If you're unaware what Dia Co is, it's $20 a month or really it's $20 a box for a styling fee and they send you like five to six things and you get to try them on and you have five days to send it back and decide to keep it or not. They send you a little note saying how you should try all the things on and then they send you um, a list of all of the things and the retail. So like merchandise retail if I were to buy all the things individually apparently they would cost $326. But with the $20 styling fee credited towards anything you keep, and then 25% off if you buy everything. So if I like and I buy every single thing, I would only spend $224.50. So I'd save just over $100 if I were to buy everything now instead of individually somewhere else. Which is kind of nice if you like everything. I think that's... Has it ever happened? I don't think it's ever happened. Maybe it happened once. Out of all the boxes I've gotten, I can't remember off the top of my head. But right away, this one says like, one of them's a cold shoulder shirt, and I don't like cold shoulder shirts. So I have a cold shoulder shirt, a flared sleeve, it's a short flared sleeve, and a smocked waist tee. No idea how that's gonna look. A capri pant in magenta, so let's see. And then a trench coat, which TBH, if it's perfect, um, and then a short sleeve shift dress in Kelly Green and Pink. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, and if you, yeah, and they always send you a bag to send everything back in. You just have to drop it off at the post office. So I have to go, but you don't have to like wait in a line. You just drop it off. It's already pre postage and everything. So <sighs> let's, uh, let's try everything on. Oh, yeah, this month, the, my box is like almost. You know how like you f you fold the flaps in and then you tape down the middle? The like ends were almost, almost undone. Like I barely had to work. So I don't know what happened in transit. I don't know, but let's go try some things off. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'll show you in a second, but I'm wearing the Molly and Isadora Leilani short flared sleeve smocked waist tee in light gray size 2x for $45 and the warp and weft orchard capri in magenta size 18 for $78 um I really like the pants like they're actually a really cool color and I can see myself wearing them I get such I'm like in such a rut with um you know like black leggings is my everyday pants which is fine but it's a good way to interject color and actually this is kind of a cute outfit with the red magenta sorry pants and the gray top but I'm not I'm not 100% sure about these sleeves what do you think I need to like take these clothes over to my parents house and try them on for my mom and be like mom what do you think but um let me show you so you see the top like I'm not sure like it's not terrible but I also feel like it's kind of like emphasizing the fact that I have a belly but also like hiding at the same time I don't know what do you think I kind of like it it's a really nice material um what do you think also these pants aren't they super cute like I think they're super cute oh there's a sticker I took off I should stick that back on until I know I'm keeping them but they have actual pockets in the front like actual pockets I can put something in there mostly you know a lid bump and they've got if I can find where it is I got actual pockets in the back, perfect for my phone, because I love to do that. And like, they're actual capris that don't look too short, like too terrible on me, I think. Like, they're a little short, but I could, I could cuff them again. I mean, like, they're a little long to be real capris, because I'm so short. But I could cuff them again, and they would be perfect, and I don't think you'd be able to tell. I like the pants. I like the color. They're not too bright a color. I could... You know, like I, I like this it isn't a terrible outfit either like it's really not okay I have to show you something though look at her 
fitting in the box. <sighs> this damn cat, she wants to fit in every single box in the entire world. But you know, that's how cats are. But really, what do you think? I, I kind of like this. I don't hate it. I'm gonna try on something else and I'll be right back. Okay, so this shirt is the Cameo Avara ribbed cold shoulder in black and pink, size 2X for $49. <sighs> Don't these cutouts seem strange to you? Like, on, I can have one side with my bra strap pretty much covered, but then the other one, it shows, like, if you're gonna give me weird cutouts, at least make sure my bra strap is covered and, like, you could widen the neck a little bit. You're already showing so, like, I don't know. And then this pattern, I don't, it's a really soft shirt, actually. It's a really nice soft shirt. I picked it up, and I'm like, ooh, it feels nice. But I don't think it looks that cute on me. Let me show you. So, like, I mean, length is fine. I just, I don't, like, my shoulders actually feel cold compared to the rest of my upper body. And then, again, like, there's my bra strap, which I normally don't care about it showing, but if you're going to give me awkward cutouts, at least make sure that my bra is covered on both sides all the way. I don't get cold shoulder shirts at all anyway, like, and then this pattern just makes it, ugh. If it were a solid color in this fabric, like, because this fabric is really nice, Maybe, but I don't think it's that cute or that flattering. Ginger, you're gonna fall. Yeah, she fell. But I don't think this is that cute. Do you? Okay, so now I'm wearing the London Times Amina short sleeve shift dress in Kelly Green and pink in size 2X for $65. This is one of those dresses that's like in that stretchy polyester rayon kind of material that just clings to everything and like, I don't know about this pattern either. I don't know, I'm just much more of like a simpler pattern, color blocking type of girl. I don't, and then I feel almost like these are just like, you know not where, they're not where my nipples are, but like I feel like they're just like, there's nipples. I almost feel like I'm like a cat, like the six nipples, right? I think that's weird. I, like now that's all I can see. I don't, it just feels like clingy and not in like a sexy way. Okay, and now I put on over top the um, Molly and Isadora, oh, two things from them, Moselle Single Breasted Trench Coat in Ivory, size 2X for $89. Um, it feels really nice. It's lined really nicely. I like the idea of a trench coat. I wouldn't call this ivory, but you know, that's just me. But check out this length. It doesn't feel very trench coaty to me. It feels it's like much more a pea coat length. Like it's shorter than my dress trench coat, I imagine, goes like down to the knee at least. Um, it does have nice pockets. It does button at the waist for me, not at the boobs. It wouldn't unless I had the boobs get a lot smaller. But beyond it being too warm for the season, at least during the daytime, it just, the material, while it feels nice, seems to just like hold wrinkles and I'm not going to be steaming or ironing this before I wear it on a cold rainy day. And like it doesn't even look that that cute like this, I don't think. Maybe if I did the last button, but then, I don't know. I don't like being hot, ever. I saw a trench coat, got really hopeful, and it seems like it's mostly a trench coat, but it's too short 
for what I consider a trench coat to be. This is a pea coat length and a trench coat style and I had a trench coat in high school and I loved it but like I hardly ever wore it because I live in California and this also doesn't seem very uh, waterproof which I kind of imagine a trench coat should be, at least that's how it used to be. If I could ever find the perfect trench coat I think I would buy it but I don't think this is it and this oh, feels so much better. This for $90 is not, this is not worth $90 to me. I would need something better than this for $90. <sighs> okay, so I'm back in the first top, the um, Leilani Short Flared Sleeve Smocked Waist Tee. <sighs> Looking more closely at this shirt, it's not a terrible shirt. Um, let's see, can I show you? You can see that there's like a seam here, and I mean, it's a little hard to see, but it, it kind of just comes up a weird side on the boobs and I feel like the shirt is just trying to do too much like it's got a you know it's not really a scoop scoop neck but like a gentle scoop and then it's got the elastic under the boobs and then it's got the short flared things and then it flows around the belly like I feel like it's doing a lot and while it's not a terrible shirt I don't think it really adds to my wardrobe. I don't think it really adds anything to my wardrobe that I can't already do kind of better. I don't know, I feel like it emphasizes the boobs in a really strange way that I don't know if I'd be comfortable wearing to work. And this is casual, but I don't, and the flight, like if it didn't have this, I think I'd like it more. It's just, mm not quite right but I do really like the pants and I've been sitting in them a few times because I've had them on the whole time and I think I could you know sit for a meal or an event or a work day in these pants and not feel like squeezed you know like how some pants you don't notice they feel uncomfortable until you sit and like you're like I could stand in these fine but if I have to sit down I couldn't last 20 minutes in them and I feel like I could last a class in these you know like I could I could easily last 30 minutes sitting down without having to like move around but like you shouldn't be sitting for more than 30 minutes at a time anyway so you know like that's a good thing I think um yeah so the cold shoulder top felt really nice like felt comfortable the fabric but I don't like the pattern and I don't like cold shoulders I don't think they look good on pretty much anyone I mean some people I guess can pull them off but I think they look weird on me and that one just had like the, it was a cutout weird and like had to show one side of the bra or the other and I'm like I, I mean I'd rather not I don't I mean like you, it's pretty obvious I wear a bra but like do I have to advertise that I don't think I need to advertise that I think it just kind of like be general knowledge that people don't really think about <laughs> and then this tee again like it's just I think it's trying to do too many things I cut down on the flared sleeve I think it would be better if it was just a sleeve <sighs> I think it's just doing too many things the capri pants I think are a teensy bit short on me in the in the leg hem but I can just I can just cuff it up one more time and like boom it's perfect so I don't I feel that's fine and for $78 with the 20 off so $58 that's a that's a good price. I do think about the $20 for, for the box as like, it's my entertainment fee, you know, like when you go to the casino and you spend money and you probably don't win anything back, but like you're paying to be entertained, you're paying to like play games. Like at an amusement park or a theme park too, like you're paying for the experience, you're not really paying for a thing. That's kind of how I view that $20, it's my experience money, it's not like a thing money, you know? How that feels that that's how I try to see it in my head and then um, the trench coat wasn't trench enough and it was too wrinkly it held too many wrinkles I and too thin I don't know I feel like a trench coat should be like a thicker material but like it still is like cut that it can button over my boobs but not be like a sack over my belly does that make sense like I feel like it should work that's what I see in my head Vision hasn't happened in anything I bought, but also I've not seen 
people wearing trench coats recently. Also, it's just setting into summer, so why are you sending me a trench coat? Send me that in September or something, but then again, here, it doesn't really get that cool. And then the dress just, again, felt like someone was trying too hard. Too many, too busy of a pattern, too many things going on, and then it had like these bright red dots going down, and I just felt like nipples. I was just like, oh look, I'm a cat. My six nipples are, what, cows, do, no, cows have like four. Pigs have like eight though. Right? Don't think something? I don't know. Well, like, it felt like, it felt like that. Like, oh look, here I am advertising where all my nipples are. But like, I didn't think that was cute. You might, you might like it. You might want to wear it. Great. Good for you. Buy it. Wear it. Look cute. I don't think it'll look good on me. That's all. I don't like that fabric either. It feels like suffocating. That like rayon polyester stuff that is like thick and like squeezes you and it just feels suffocating. I don't want to feel suffocated in my own clothes. Not something I find enjoyable. So, I think I'm gonna get the pants because I do like them. They're comfortable, they're nice, I can sit in them. They're cute color, they're like fashionable, and I think I'm gonna keep just the pants. I think I'm gonna get rid of any, everything else, including this, even though it is a comfortable top. I, I just, I don't think I need this with the, like, it could have just ended here as like little cap sleeves and I would have liked it more than this weird seam and then like it just cuts my boob in a weird spot and I won't stop doing that and then like it just cups the boobs really awkwardly here I feel and I don't know. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. So, Dia, I'm keeping one thing or I guess who, who saw me today? Hillary? Hillary. I'm keeping one thing, okay, one thing, I'll be sure to let you know in the ratings. So yeah, cause you gotta go online afterwards and like rate your clothes and if you're keeping it or not and say what you liked and hopefully they make the boxes better, that's the whole point. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. This was an adventure as always, I'll see you later, have fun, go be happy. I'm gonna go see The Incredibles 2 tonight. That seems gonna be fun with my dad for like while they're It's gonna be our thing, I think, this year. I'm really excited. I wanna go see the show. It's gonna be amazing, I think. I hope, I hope, I hope. Anyway, go have fun, go be happy, go do things, go like eat food and watch movies and go pet a cat. Bye.